guys, it's Full Cuts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out, man. An SP Authentic of yesteryear that's 11 years old. In front of me today, I have a box of 2011, 2012 SP Authentic. Hopefully, it'll be copacetic. Maybe I'm being hallucinogenic. I would like to hit a landy. We shall see. So let's do it, guys. I'm pretty excited about this. And of course, Upper Deck Series 1 is coming out this week. I might not be able to break it on release day. I might do it uh, Thursday, Friday. I think release day is Wednesday. Anyways, uh, but I will break it. I will break it. So configuration, five cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 120 cards, total base set, one through 150. The SP Essentials are 151 through 180. Then you have your Future Watch base, 40 cards, 181 through 220, and your Future Watch autos, 221 through 280. So 60 of those cards. Parallels are the limited patch patches which are numbered to 100 they're also ones numbered to 25 as well and within a box break guys expect three autos including that future watch auto two hollow effects cards they do have parallels they are die cuts and two sp essentials there's also 12 rookie extended uh within this box and theoretically there's parallels there's actually red foils number to 10 uh parallels of those bad boys with regard to the autos checklist, we all know there are the sign of the times. In fact, there's a five-way sign of the times of goalies like Patrick Waugh, Pure, Rogi Vechnal, Tony Esposito, and Bill Branford. I would love to hit that five-way. I never hit five-ways. Uh, there's a Kairos number to 50, the Immortal Links number to 10, the Marks of Distinction only number to 25, and the prestigious pairings that are numbered to 35, plus the signature stoppers numbered to 25. So let's rock and roll, guys. Let's do this. I have opened a box of this before, and I did hit a patch uh, last time I opened up a box a few years ago. And in that box, I also had goalie mojo, which is kind of frequent and common for me uh, to have goalie mojo. So maybe this box won't have goalie mojo. Bang. And you guys might be wondering who uh, the Future Watch um, are of course the base future watches are the Marcus Bellino, Andrew Shaw, Ekholm Ellis, and uh, Roman Yossi. All those bad boys are non-audited future watches, so we would look forward to those bad boys. I know there's Koskinen and Kincaid and Berwecki and and some other ones, but in terms of the future watch autos, the big draw for me would be Mika Zabinajad, Mark Scheifele, Brendan Sad, Adam Henrique. Sean Couturier, and my favorite is Landis Gog. Uh, we can also hit, of course, obviously, evidently, per uh, the box top and the pack top, the Nuge. The Nuge is in it. Ben Scrivens is in it. Uh, Alex Daylock is in it. Uh, so a uh, whole host of bad boys. All right. Uh, yeah, man, but I'd like the Landy or the Nuge, I guess. Okay, so let's do it, guys. So these, this design is pretty basic, and it does look like Trilogy. Um, minus the sort of yellow gold tint, doesn't it? Logan Couture, Daniel Sedin, uh, Chris Van Vend Veld, and a massive decoy. I mean, this decoy is just chunks. Payarvi, Steve Mason, Nick Backstrom, and Dion Phaneuf. Uh, really clean looking cards per use. So when you figure that there are 60 Future Watch autos on the checklist, uh, your odds, if you hit one per box, would be around 1.6% uh, to hit the guy you want to hit. Uh, double that if there's two in, in, in each box, but there, maybe there's one and a half in each box. I'm not sure. So Kovalchuk, Leno, Vermette, and look at this bad boy. This Mike, Mike Angelitas, Angelitas. Uh, that seems like a Greek name. I'm not entirely sure, but this is the extended rookie checklist. So we re see these every second pack because there's 12 of them. And there is a youthful Eric Carlson who has been playing very youthfully this year. He's on fire without Brent Burns around, which is an interesting uh, thing. Hopefully he stays healthy. Dubinsky, Cleary, Trevor Linden. I mean, look at these cards, man. There's Carl Haglin and another massive decoy and Ribeiro. Ribeiro looks like he's a gamer. I just can't get over the size of the decoys. They're just massive. There's Marty St. Louis, coach of the Habs. Luke Robitaille, Chiche Oshie has been injured. Lander, uh, yeah, and a Matt Molson. Uh, really, really thick box, and now I see why it's so thick. It is just, there's just so much cardboard filler. I mean, look at all these base packs. There's Bill Barber, so it's very cool that they do have some legends in here. Nick Foligno, there's Rafael Diaz. Uh, the cards feel really thick. The stock feels really thick. 
and feel the thrill. So this Rafi Diaz uh, would happen to be the extended rookie one, right? Because it's R43 and he was a rookie this year. Did you hear noise right now? My cat is inside a bag, literally. Flurry, what are you doing? I was able to get her out just by coaxing her. Okay, Chris Stewart, uh, Jerome McGinla, and here is our, oh, it's Marcus Kruger. So we have our first rookie hollow effects uh, with their hollow effects technology, and it would be a Marcus Kruger, uh, who I've hit before in products from this year. So getting down to the bottom of the first stack of fire, Evander Kane, David Clarkson, Shea Weber, Captain, uh, yeah, my captain, and not bad at all. So we did hit a Mika. We hit the Mika Rookie Hollow Effects. I'm sure it's of nominal value, but this is a rookie card of his, a rookie insert, if you will, and Josh Georges. So we'll continue to keep an eye out for those rookie extended. Uh, they are inserts, even though they look exactly like the base cards. Thomas Vanek, Lars Eller, Oh, what is this? We have something here. I, I assume that it's a base future watch. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Drew Doughty, Jordan Everly, and let us see who this is, what this is, why this is. Uh, oh, it is a future watch auto, guys. And it, it is Eric Gustafson. So I would have to say this is uh, one of the solid ones, definitely one of the solid ones, not the best one, uh, but it definitely ranks up there as a solid NHLer. I'll take it. All right, and I mean, he was pretty much a long time Chicago Blackhawks and played on the Habs for about five minutes. Still in the NHL though, uh, so I, I, sh well, I have no choice, I'm gonna take it. Alex Ovechkin, a Pavlik, a Sidney Crosby, and I assume this is a base future watch. That would be my best guess as to what this is, unless it's something else. Uh, and it is a base future watch, and it would happen to be Peter Holland, uh, who I believe is right at the top of the checklist. Um, 181, exactly. And it would be a Peter Holland, number to 999. So one of the base future watches, I say an average one of the uh, base future watches. So Leafs fans remember him, I think, fondly. I would hope they would, although he wasn't drafted by them. Drafted by the Ducks, 15th overall. Uh, so Mike Green, Brandon Morrow, there's Bobby Lou, Strombone, Tubert, and behind the next decoy, we have this UC Jokinen. The yolks on you. There's a Pecorine, one of my favorites, one of the best players in the game ever, I think, really. Uh, certainly for a Finn. There is Vitali. Another, the decoys are just crazy. It completely explains the size of the box. The Shane Doan and Zdeno Chara. We have a Kuhlman, Tyler Sagan. We have Backstrom, DaCosta, as well as Cam Ward. Oh, what is this? Oh, if it's a, if that's a horizontal card, that means it could be a, a dual, a dual son of the times. I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea. I'm not super familiar with this product for obvious reasons. It's been a while. Jose Theodore, Chris Pronger, and you guys know who only opens these products. It's not me. Nathan Horton, here's a who. Thomas Holmstrom, and what is this? I think it is, maybe it's just a base sign of the times and they're, they're um, it could just be a base sign of time and they're horizontal, which would make a lot of sense. So who is this? Can you guys guess who this is? Oh, is that Taylor Hall? Very nice. It's a second year Taylor Hall sign of the times. I've never hit a, a Taylor Hall auto. So I'll definitely take it. He was a big deal, man. He was a first overall. So right around this time, he would have been a major, major hit. Um, and he's having a very nice career, albeit he prefers, I guess, to play second fiddle as, as opposed to being the guy. He didn't, you know, Vince Carter was like that, actually. All right, continuing on, guys, we've got Brent Burns without, I mean, he might have teeth. Uh, Matt Duchesne, it's off to a bit of a slow start, but we'll see. 40 goal score last year. There's Taylor Hall. Oh, wow, we just hit something else. So Scott Gomez, is this our last auto? So did you guys see that? So is it another sign of the times? Let's see. Let us see, Shells, who this bad boy is. Oh, we got the blue helmet. And that is, oh my God. 
Guys, this would happen to be Claude Lemieux, who is a legend in Montreal, an absolute playoff legend. And he's in the Montreal uniform as opposed to uh, New Jersey Devil and whatnot. That is beautiful. Now this is a keeper. So there you go. Last box I had the goalie mojo and this box I had the Habs mojo. That's spectacular, guys. I have to say that is really, really, really a solid one. That is, I mean, to pull a Claude Lemieux auto out of a box of SP Authentic, that's that's something special. Man, I, I'm, I feel graced and touched to have hit that. And, you know, his big claim to fame is he won the cup with three different teams. He has four cups, actually, but he won with three different teams and only 11 players in the history of our game have ever done that. He also is a Consmite Trophy winner. So, you know, that and that was with the Devils. It couldn't have been with the Habs because Patrick always won it with the Habs in those years. Anyways, Burroughs, Getzlaff, there's Flower. There's Flower. I, I just feel, I feel touched by that. I feel really excited about that. That's very cool. Uh, hopefully we'll get something else, but it looks like we're down to, I mean, we've already seen three autos, unfortunately. So this one here is one of the SP Essentials, and it's Scory Perry, as opposed to Gold Caulfield, it's Scory Perry, who has the distinction of going to the Cup three years in a row and losing all three times, even though he won early in his career. All right, man, Dan Boyle, there's Hiller with the Black Mask, Brad Richards, Calvin DeHaan, I gotta get through them now, and Daniel Alfredson. So that is very cool, that is very, very cool. Of course I prefer a multi-sign of the times, but a Claude Lemieux is a big thing for me. All right, Henrik Sedin, Solani, Yaro Halak, Cody Eakin, is Cody Eakin one of, yeah, it's, it's one of the rookie extended. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll reveal those, I guess, in the, um, in the recap, we'll do a bit of recap. Really cool. So do we get anything else in our last column? Unfortunately, if we've already hit our autos. Well, we do get a Bobby Orr base card, uh, base number 94, so high up there. Kessler, Adam Henrique. So Adam Henrique is a good rookie extended. They don't have any value. They're rookies, but they don't have any value really. The future watches are the true rookies. Uh, we have something else here. It could be another base future watch. I'm guessing, we'll see. There's Malkin, another guy who likes playing second fiddle. Eric Johnson, there's Taves. Taves is having a resurgence. And who on earth balls is this one? And it is a base future watch auto. And it would be Jimmy Hayes. All right, a Jimmy Hayes one, okay. Leafs draft pick who never played a single game with the Leafs. He definitely played in the NHL, the Chicago, etc. but he did not play with the Leafs. Uh, interestingly, okay, continuing on. It's like Pelushai is another guy who's in this product, who's a Habs draft pick, who's our second rounder, I think like 2007. Uh, yeah, man, so Keith Yandel and a James Neal, as well as a Johan Franzen. Franzen. All right, last couple of packs here. Let's see if we can hit anything else or whether we're donezo. Patrick Marlowe, there's Larry Robinson. The fact that they include Larry Robinson is amazing to me. Anders Nielsen, so that's a rookie right there, as well as the Andre Kopitar. Last couple of packs, last, last gasp. Uh, we do have some, well, we have some goalie mojo. It might be an SB Essentials. David Jones, Sam Gagne, Joe Sackick, Louis Erickson, and behind the massive decoy, uh, oh, wow, okay, so we have some goalie mojo. There's Marty, an SP Essentials of Marty. Two packs left, two packs, Jack. And this looks like a base pack, the goaltender. Zach Parise, Patrice, Patrice Bergeron, and there's Craig Anderson, uh, as well as Jordan Stahl and Ryan Suter. Our last pack, and it's a skinny cabini. Oh, not really, not really a skinny cabini. Uh, there's a goalie in there, and I think this is another base pack, probably has a rookie extended. Danny Heatley, Colin Wilson, a Redeem Verbata, Redeem Your Redemption, and a Chris Osgood, as well as a Luke Adam. All right. All right, guys, just a quick, quick recap. Uh, in terms of the rookie extended, we did in fact receive 12 as uh, desired or expected. There's the Adam Henrique, Cody Eakin, Andrews Nielsen, Carl Haglin, Rafa Diaz. So we did receive a couple of the bigger names, more or less, uh, not huge names in the rookie extended, but so that's not bad. 
Uh, of course, we did receive two Sign of the Times, including a Legend, which is great. We received our two uh, Future Watch non-autos, one Future Watch auto. So everything was on the nose. We did receive a Mika Zabinajad uh, Rookie Hall Effects, which is pretty cool, and some Marty for some Goalie Mojo. And the base cards are pretty nice. As I said, they look a little bit like Trilogy. I hope you enjoyed the break, guys. Uh, I hope you remember who I am and you sub like hashtag Dryden. There's a little mask uh, when you're on YouTube in the bottom right and you click on that and you can subscribe. I do a bunch of old school breaks uh, with a vintage take uh, based on sentimentality and odds over gambling. All right? And money, you know, F money. I mean, there's bigger and better things in life, man. Have me full cards. Uh, please be sure to sub like, hashtag drive full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. I'll be saving on your deep blue eyes.